Pro Group Management. Workers Comp that works for you. This is 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review Journal. Good morning, everyone. I'm Renee Summerauer. We start off with your top stories brought to you by Nevada Hands Silver Sky Assisted Living Community. Learn more at nevadahand.org. An ex Las Vegas police officer was sentenced to prison more than 25 years later for killing a woman. 56 year old Arthur Seawall Jr. was sentenced between 6 to 15 years for fatally shooting 20 year old Nadia Iverson, whose body was found May 8, 1997, near Washington Avenue and Martin Luther King Boulevard. Seawall told police he paid Iverson to perform sexual acts, and evidence at the scene suggested she was shot while being sexually assaulted. I want something good to come out of what happened with my sister to protect other women and other victims, including men. There is a connection to my sister's case with other, um, other women that are, have lost their voice. And two newcomers and one incumbent were sworn onto the board overseeing the Clark County School District on Tuesday. Trustees Irene Bustamante Adams and Brenda Zamora were sworn in for their first four year term as board members, while trustees Linda Cavazos was sworn after being reelected. They hope to usher in a new era following a year categorized by dysfunction and hostility. For students who fare better with real life experiences than behind a desk in class, the Clark County School District is offering more career and technical academies. Review Journal's Jen Ah reports. How about some shrimp fried rice from a restaurant run entirely by high schoolers? It can be anything from culinary to automotive service technician to medical professions and cyber security. For teens interested in those subjects, CCSD's technical academies offer a taste of what's to come if they pursue those career paths. Students from across the district apply in order to be considered for admission into uh, the Career and Technical Academies, and there are currently seven of them. And two more in the works. We'll be in North Las Vegas, and that is on track to open in August. And the other one is in West Henderson, and that's slated to open in August 2024. The deadline to apply online for the next school year is January 10th. For the Review Journal, I'm Jen Ah. The Clark County School District unveiled its first electric school bus in Nevada. By replacing diesel-powered buses, the district hopes to improve air quality in school communities. The bus will save roughly $60 a day in fuel costs. The district has purchased a second electric bus and expects to eventually receive a total of 25 as part of the Federal Environmental Protection Agency's Clean School Bus Program. And more than 100,000 people are expected to attend this year's CES trade show, which opens Thursday. The show, which displays the latest in gadgets, is open to consumer electronic executives and professionals, but not the public. The keynote speaker lineup is diverse this year, with half of the speakers being women, including Laura Jones, chief marketing officer of Instacart. For a full list of speakers and more information, visit LVRJ.com. In your business news, sponsored by Bank of Nevada Bank on Accountability, a Reno developer aims to start construction on an industrial park outside Las Vegas in Jean this year. Toll's development company is looking to break ground on the first phase of a warehouse and distribution complex off Interstate 15 in Jean in the second quarter of 2023, according to partner Corey Hunt. And MGM Resorts International has sold a big part of land known as The Village. The closing of the 13-acre transaction was announced in an email sent to employees Friday. The three affiliated tribes of North Dakota, also known as MHA, will take over. The purchase opened the possibility of a new casino development on the Strip, but no details on further plans or the financial terms have been disclosed. Now to your weather report, brought to you by Star Nursery, your garden's partner for every blooming thing. Today calls for cloudy skies and rain chances for your Wednesday. Highs today reaching around 53 degrees with calm winds. Tonight, more rain chances in parts of the valley, mostly cloudy skies with lows around 44 degrees. For the rest of the week, about an 80% chance of rain will come Thursday into Thursday evening. Calm winds also affecting Thursday. Rain chances should stop by Friday. Daytime highs will remain in the upper 50s. Evening lows staying in the low 40s. Vegas Nation sponsored by Station Casinos, STN Sports. Download the app today. NFL Network analyst David Carr took to the airways to defend his younger brother Derek after the Raiders announced that he would be benched for the rest of the season. David said Derek would be looking for a more stable franchise to continue his career after spending his first nine seasons with the Raiders. 
and that the statements he made in the past about retiring rather than playing for another team no longer applies. Derek has not commented publicly about the situation. In your health news, sponsored by Boulder City Hospital, we're here for you when you need us. While many adults use the new year to come up with new health resolutions, kids are turning to sports to work out their bodies and their minds. Um, definitely, you know, the clubs that work with us and, and the teams that are under us, um, you know, have that mentality of, of trying to get kids to be active, get in a routine um, and to kind of stick with something and, and kind of achieve higher goals than maybe they would have set for themselves. Aside from sports, here are some other resolutions to discuss with your kids, including eating a green vegetable every day and unplugging from social media at least 24 hours each month. Sports, sponsored by DNR House of Diamonds, making luxury affordable, located in downtown Summerlin. Las Vegas High's Kayla Terry and Shadow Ridge's Jalen Butler have been selected as the Nevada Preps Athletes of the Week. Butler averaged 18.3 points per game last week in the Mustangs' three win at the Golden Crown Holiday Tip-Off Tournament in San Diego. Terry scored 23 points and added 16 rebounds and four steals to help the Wildcats beat Green Valley 40-32 last week. Sports betting, sponsored by Las Vegas Paiute Tribal Smoke and Cigar Shop. The PGA Tour opens the 2023 season this week with the Century Tournament of Champions, and John Rahm is the plus 750 favorite at William Hill Sportsbook to win the event at the Flame Plantation Course in Hawaii. Scotty Scheffler is the 8-1 second choice, followed by Justin Thomas, Xander Schauffele, and Patrick Cantlay, all at 10-1. Tony Finau is next at 14-1, while Sung Jae Im is listed at 16-1. Matthew Fitzpatrick, Colin Morikawa, and Tom Kim are 18-1. In your entertainment news, he's been in the audience for some of the biggest headliner moments of the year. Now, Review Journal's John Katzlamidas breaks down the best of 2022. We have Silk Sonic as the best residency show. We have Myron's at the Smith Center as the best venue name for an individual. That's named for Smith Center President Myron Martin. Teller of Penn and Teller wins best cameo. What am I talking about, you might be wondering. These are the Cats Awards, a mirthsome look back at 2022. It's a lot of fun to give these awards out. There's no physical award, no actual plaque or trophy or anything like that, no medal, so don't ask. It's just my way of uh, touching base and name checking some of the favorite things I saw in 22 as we look forward to 2023. Thank you for watching 7 at 7 a.m. I'm Renee Summerauer. If you have an Amazon Fire TV, search Review Journal to download our channel. Watch Las Vegas breaking news streaming live on your OTT device. We'll see you back here later today for 7 at 7 p.m. From the Las Vegas Review Journal, have a great day. Review Journal Studio, sponsored by Adam Kuttner. Get the maximum settlement as quickly as possible. This 7 at 7 update, sponsored by Pro Group Management. You're watching 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review Journal.